Now, as CEO of Blizzard 2, we here believe that we can be better and stronger as a community and uh, as a company. We, have str we strive to innovate and procreate and concur. We're here to create good games, amazing games, fantastic games, and we have done it since 1980. But at Blizzard 2, everything starts with the community. We believe that the community knows better for us as a company, and we are here to listen. Not like Blizzard 1. Blizzard 2 strives to create the best quality video games out there. For all ages, genders, races, aliens, and humans. And even pets, baby. That is the Blizzard 2 way. Thank you. So for our next game, we'd like to introduce to you Diablo 5. And we're coming out on mobile. Hi. I'm finally back home. I hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing okay.
I'm actually not stressed. Which is great. Why, why did I put this on? I'm just gonna sweat my ass off wearing that. Okay. So today we're playing uh, Game Dev Tycoon, which is a really chill game that is essentially just like it's hard to explain. I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's like a game that I think is just a bunch of bullshit RNG, but it makes you think that you're actually com like doing something. <laughs> it's it's. A, I I don't know how to explain, but b basically, yeah. I in 2013, uh, I remember seeing this game and watching a, an entire playthrough of it. Uh, and I wanted the game, and I've never played it. I've had it in my uh, wish list, and I've never done anything with it whatsoever. I, I've I've never bought it, never played it, but I think uh, I think I'm 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 ready. I think I'm ready to take uh, put on my big boy pants and uh, play the game. By the way, this uh. This is the OST for a game called Tyranigma, uh, Tyranigma, Tyranigma. I've never played it or heard of it, ever, but this is the soundtrack for it, which was a game for the N SNES. Uh, never heard of it before, so I'm guessing it's a underground gem? I'm not sure, but anyways. Yeah, so Game Dev Tycoon. It's, it's gonna be a very relaxing kind of game. You're not really... This is gonna be kind of like a chill, chill stream. This is a chill stream. There's apparently workshop mods. I don't even know what that is like. But, um... Yeah. Where's the game? Hello? I mean, I'll just I'll just put on display capture if it's gonna be like that. Yeah, I'll just I'll just do display capture. Okay. I really do need to get a Steam Deck, don't I? All right. <clears throat> Welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation, you have been transported back in time to the start of. Uh, to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, gain fans, and become the leader of the market. Before you can start your adventure, you have to give your upcoming company a name. Oh boy. No, you can always continue playing after the main game is over. Simply specifies uh, how fast new platforms come out to the market when a high score is calculated. Apparently 35 years. Pirate mode recommended. Pirate mode causes severely reduced sales on all your games. Bankruptcy is likely. You can develop copy protection, but it... Uh, it will upset fans. Fan mail inspired by true events will reach uh, your inbox from time to time. That's cool. Huh. Why is that specifically in pirate mode? So 42 years means that the game would last a lot longer. I kind of feel like 42 years. I guess it's recommended. We'll just do the recommended amount. Uh, we're going to be mail. Uh, company. Um, no, this is very important. Uh, <laughs> instead of blizzard, it's tornado. <laughs> um player name's gonna be Fido. 
My good boy Fido. Can I make- let me see if I can make Fido. I might not be able to. I could make my best guess of what I think Fido would look like. I mean, I already know what he looks like, but... This is the most tacky shirt I could find. Oh, it's Pico. It's Pico. Well, I guess I can't do Fido. So... Um, I guess I could do Pico. <laughs> it, it does look like Pico, though. <laughs> Fido. <laughs> I don't- I don't know. It has to be Fido. I, I'm sorry, but it has to be Fido. But it's Fido cosplaying as Pico from Newgrounds. Um, Transis... Trans... Lucent... Games. Translucent Games. That's a pretty good name. I feel like it could be better. Translucent Games. Clown makeup media. <laughs> or, or, hmm, CMM. Clown makeup media, C CMM. That's pretty good. You think clown makeup uh, media is good, or... Clown killer media, CKM. And... <laughs> Yeah, very good. Okay. We'll do we'll do clown makeup. We'll do clown makeup media. Fido who's dressed up as Pico from Newgrounds. Supporter. Support a young startup by the game. Yay! Yahoo! Yahoo! Uh what do I do? Develop a game. Before development, it's not come. <laughs> Why would it be come? Uh, why is it not ejaculate? Ejaculate dispository. Before development can begin, you have to decide what kind of game you want to create. Give your game a name. You can also select which graphic technology your game should use. Your options are initially limited, but once you have a bit of experience, you will be able to unlock new options. Cool. So, our, our first game is going to be called... Gumby's Revenge. Gumby's Revenge. It's gonna be a... <laughs> Should it be? Should it... 
disaster. <laughs> RPG. Really? They're, they're seriously... We're gonna start with the, um... We're gonna start with the G64. But eventually we do need to move to the PC. We do have actually have to eventually move to the PC. So we're gonna do Gumby's Revenge. Uh... It's a Disasters. That's the topic. It's an RPG. And it's a on the... Commodore 64. This is a lot different than what the game used to be when it came out. What? What'd I do? Oh. Okay, I guess I unselected it. Okay. Uh, it's gonna be uh, 2D graphics. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's gonna be 2D graphics. It has to be 2D graphics. Alright, start making that game, Fido. Game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus of your game can, uh, greatly increases the points you generate. Think about what areas are important for your game and decrease the focus on areas you think are less important. If you want to read a brief description on the different areas, please refer to the game help menu. Okay, so the game is going to be very heavily focused on gameplay. Um, the engine is going to be also heavily focused, of course. Uh, and story and quests are going to be... I think gameplay should take up the most. Gameplay is very important, as well as story, but not as much on the engine, I think. I think the engine should be the least f uh, focused thing. Definitely gameplay and story, story and quests and stuff like that. I think this makes sense. <laughs> Game development has now started. Yeah, it's the DeLorean. What a beautiful car. I love the design of the DeLorean. While developing your game, you'll generate game points, which you, you can see bubbling up. Game points are divided into design points and technology points. The more points you generate, the better the game will be. From time to time, there will also be bug points generated. These points will become less likely uh, once you gain experience. You're a Camryo guy? Camryos are, are pretty decent, yeah. Uh, bugs should be fixed before the game is released and increase the development time and cost. I don't know. I think some of the, the cringiest people are people who are uh, only, uh, they only like forts. I think that's pretty cringy. Like, they, they only specifically... Ugh. Uh, artificial intelligence? Well, it's an RPG game, remember? So, uh, AI is pretty stupid. <laughs> no. We'll have some time dedicated to artificial intelligence. Level design? Sure. Dialogue is very important. Gumby's Revenge is gonna have... Uh, is gonna have a high focus on... Dialogue, artificial intelligence, and level design. Kind of like that. Because level design isn't nearly as important in an RPG. Dialogue is very important. We got a couple bugs. During development, you can also... Um, you can also select additional features for your game. Right now, you can only pick basic sounds, but your options will increase quickly. Selecting additional features make the game generally better, but also increase its costs. You will also see a graphic type um, you selected when you define the game. This is just to remind you of your choice. You cannot change the type of graphics mid-game. Okay. World design? I like how level design isn't that important. World design is definitely good. Graphics are going to be up there. That I think graphics are going to be very important, and sound is going to be somewhat important. So it's going to kind of be like that. Okay. Come on. We got to make this game amazing. The development of your first game is now complete. You can press the finish button to publish your game, but you should only do that once you fix the majority of bugs. 
Releasing a game without fixing bugs can severely affect your rating, so you should um, only ever consider that if you need the cash and can't afford the wait. And uh, yeah, the game's gonna give you a freebie. The development of your game is now finished. While developing games, you gain experience and remove, uh, improve your skills. When development is complete, completed, you will uh, be presented with a summary of your experience gained. Cool. Nice. Everything's just kind of leveling up here. Cool. Release the game. Your game is now complete and you will be handed off to publishing. We should see reviews and sales coming in for the game soon. Awesome. Let's see. The first reviews are for your newly released game, Gumby's Revenge. Um... Came in. Not much fun. Utterly uninspiring. What? A waste of money. Publishing a game, you can invest a little bit of time to analyze your creation and generate a game report. Game reports are a great way to gain research points as well as valuable insights into what works and what doesn't work when developing a game. To generate a game report, close uh, this message, then click anywhere on the screen and bring up the action menu. <laughs> I got a three. I'm going to make no money from this. Clown Makeup Media, a newcomer in the game industry, has released the first game, Gumby's Revenge. The game has a moderate response from reviewers. We are curious what Clown Makeup Media will develop deliver in the future. <laughs> what? Gumby's Revenge has sold 1,480 uh, units in the first week on the market. Now that your game is on sale, the <laughs> moderate response... Now the game is on sale, you will receive the income from the game every week. You can see how well your game is doing by looking at the sales graph in the top right of the screen. So this is where the money comes in. Game reports are a great way to gain more research uh, points and new insights. It pays off to generate a report for each game you release. Now that you've completed your first game report, it's a good idea to look at the research menu to open the research menu, close this message, and then click anywhere, yada yada yada. Okay. Research. Research is important to unlock new options to make better games. Uh, sales actually went up on the second week. Uh, you should save enough research points to be able to create your own game engine. It will greatly improve your games, okay. Try to develop games with a different topic and genre combinations for a site. Okay. Um, well, I guess we'll have to do... New topic. I think a new topic would help. Uh... Shit. I can only do... Okay. Well, I don't want to do any of these. I think space would be pretty good. We can make a space game. Start researching a space game. Uh, we have not, um, we've actually lost, uh, money. We, we've lost money. We started with 70k. And there's monthly costs as well. Once the sales are done, I think I'll, I'll start. Cool. It's off the market. Uh, we lost 4,000. It cost, uh, oh, okay, so, yeah, we, we only, we only made a, a, a net loss of 4k. So, it's all good. Let's develop a game. Uh...
Star Cadets Command. It's gonna be a space game. It's gonna be a... Should we do strategy? Or a simulation? <laughs> Make a rip-off Star Wars game. I wanna do an RPG. No, okay. I don't think we'll be able to make games that we really want to make. We're being over... We're, we're overdoing it. Let's start with a dungeon crawler. Uh, we'll do an... Um, we'll do a adventure. Dungeon crawling... Um, simulation... Strategy. Let's do, let's do an RPG again. We're doing RPG games. Oh god. We're making no money! It's gonna be 2K graphics. I don't think we'll be able to do it. <sighs> 2D graphics. It's fine. We'll, we'll be in the red, but that's fine. Uh, engine, so gameplay is gonna be fine. There's no stories or quests. The engine, it, it doesn't matter. There's like barely, there's like a little bit of stories and quests. Outselling competitors in the PC sector. Consumers prefer the lower price, greater availability, and flexible hardware. Okay, yeah. Might sell. Nice. That's good. We have zero fans, though. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, development process. Learn about what works well and what doesn't work so well. Insight. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna hit it. Hints to the, uh, the hints range from plus, 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 plus to minus, minus. Uh, and indicate how important area and the type of the game is. Uh, okay. Same genre. I, uh, okay. Dialogues? We don't need dialogue. Artificial intelligence and a little bit of level design. It's space. We don't need that much level design. Alright. This this game's gonna sell like hotcakes. You're Bank account is in the red. Thankfully, your your bank has enabled you to overdraw your account up to 50k, but be careful. If your account balance is below 50k, you will go bankrupt. Ah, shit. Uh, sound? <laughs> Graphics, uh, don't matter. They're, it's planets. Uh, world design and sound. There you go. Hold on. Cool. Let's do it. Oh yeah. This game, watch, the numbers are gonna be like 10 out of 10s. Second game in, in the business and we're already gonna be like uh, god tier. Let's release it. Create a game with a good topic and genre combination. Okay. First reviews for the newly released game Star Cadets Command. Came in. Let's do this. Beautiful. Come on. I see tens. I like it. Quirky but good. Yo! It's a good game! According to the rumors, the Japanese company Ninvento is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Ninvento is known for widely successful arcade game Dinky King. Many industry experts doubt that uh, home gaming consoles will take off, but we are eager to see th uh, what Ninvento will deliver. We did it! Yes! We got 40 fans! Star Cadets Command was so successful that we now have 40 fans.
<laughs> Star Cadets, uh, Cadets Command has achieved. Yeah, they're really going borderline with the <laughs> Cadets Command has achieved a company sales record with over 10 uh, K units sold. This is an important milestone in history for Clown Makeup Media. Oh my God, we did it. This is fucking awesome. Let's generate a game report for Star Cadets Command. Learn some research points. Oh. Nice. We can't do a custom engine just yet. I feel like we should do a... I feel like we should do something new. Console's cartridge based. Okay. Let's uh, develop a new game. Wait. We should, yeah, we should definitely uh, wait to do. Um, we should definitely wait to do. Uh, like a new game engine until after we get 50 in research uh what should we do next transport make mario pros game <laughs> when you get the ninvento we're gonna do a dungeon a dungeon simulation we're gonna do strategy yeah yeah we're gonna do a dungeon strategy for the commodore 64 and it's gonna be called um Gumby's Rise. Gumby's Rise Robot Attack. Perfect. 2D graphics. Let's do it. It's gonna be, um... Stories and Quests. Engine. Like that. Artificial intelligence, uh, level design, dialogues. Thank you to Fido from Patrick and Daniel Klug. Hi, Fido. We are the creators of Game Dev Tycoon. We'd like to thank you very much for purchasing the game and supporting us. Game Dev Tycoon is our very first game, and it means a lot to us that you are enjoying it. With your purchase, uh, you support our little startup, and this uh, will hopefully make sure that we bring you more games in the future. Seriously, you rock. Thank you so much, and have fun with Game Dev Tycoon. <laughs> what the fuck are they talking about? What are they, what are they talking about here? World design... Uh, graphics sound like that iron out those bugs can we get anything else extra technology what about design fuck it all right we're doing it We're doing it. This is it. Gumby, Gumby is gonna get um, revived. It's like um, it's like when uh, Eminem released uh, <laughs> released his uh, was it called like rehab? I forgot the name of it. First reviews for Gumby's Rise Robot Attack. I see tens. Enjoyable. Okay. Come on, I see tens. Nice experience. Okay. I saw the ten. One of the best. I see that ten. Almost perfect. Wow. 
Look at that. It's been released, okay. We, we can make a new engine and we'll immediately be able to... Contracts have now been unlocked. See available contracts, close this message, and click anywhere. Okay, cool. So we, we've created a new thing. What is this? Contracts? Where, where is it at? Um, our post-release of Gumby's Robot Rise Attack is complete and we got the following results. Dungeon and strategy is a great combination. Sound seems to be quite important for this type of game. Engine seems to be quite important for this type of game. And, uh, platform genre match. Uh, uh, strategy, great. Hi there, I finished, uh, these rises. Oh, contract work. I finished Gumby's Rise Robot Attack and... <laughs> Or, or gra, I'll just call it gra. Uh, I love your work. I'm in. Uh, I'm in the contracting business. We could use skills like yours. If you're ever short on cash, just let me know, and I will see if uh, I have some work for you, Jason. Okay. So we have contract work. Contracts are a useful tool to earn some extra cash when your balance is low. It can also be useful to generate a small number of research points. Uh, contracts require you to generate a certain amount of design technology points before time runs out. You have to pay a penalty. Uh, it's better to start out with a smaller contract, uh, that you can handle. Four weeks. Three weeks. And four weeks. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. I guess we'll do a uh, sprite sheet software, or uh, I guess play test. No, stop scratching your head. I didn't do it. You know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. Custom game engine. We're gonna create a new game engine. Let's do this. Now you can create your own game engines to, uh, to get started this message. Okay. How do you fail playtest? I don't, I don't know. Um, save game. What should we name this, uh, this wonderful new engine? Um. We gotta, I, I, I feel like, uh, um. The sus engine. The sus engine. Custom engine. Once the engine is uh, finished, you will be able to uh, to use it when creating new games. Can make Among Us, Among Us NES. <laughs> Your new game engine, the Sus engine, is now complete. Congratulations! Your first custom game engine is now ready. You should be using it for your next uh, game. Okay, well, I guess we will develop uh, a game and use the Sus engine, and we're gonna pick the um. The TES. 
and it's gonna be a an action game. Uh, wait, hold on. I don't think I can't. I can't make Among Us because I don't have any way to do that. None of these are really good. Uh, I guess fantasy. We'll make we'll make a different game. We'll eventually get to make. We'll eventually get to make a. Uh, Let's do, let's do a adventure game, and it's gonna be a, a fantasy adventure game. A transport adventure game. <laughs> it's gonna be a transport adventure game. <laughs> it's, it's, uh... Felipe's Crazy Town. <laughs> I don't know. It's gonna be uh, 2D graphics version 2. Gameplay is gonna be very important. Stories and quests. Story and quests. There's not really a story or, or a quest. Um, and the engine is gonna be very important too. We'll add a save state. And it's gonna be a linear story as well. Nah, trust me, dude. This, it's gonna be amazing. Level design is, is through the roof, and dialogue is gonna be amazing. Okay? Artificial intelligence, there basically isn't any. Numbers have exceeded expectations by far. I love games that come with the TES. Playing with a controller is so much more fun than a keyboard. Uh-oh. Okay. World design. Graphics and sound. Sound's gonna have to come down. World design. Perfect. Wait. Just a little bit more like that. Let's do this. Hold on, iron out those bugs. Let's do this. New combo. Hoo-hoo, all right. New research, uh, available game tutorials, and mono sound. First reviews of your newly released Felipe's Crazy Town. No! No, no. Uh, what a flop. What an embarrassment. I need to make a, a public statement. We here at Clown Makeup Media are deeply sorry about what happened in today's um with today's uh, game. We didn't mean for this to happen. Uh, we didn't know. And we're deeply, deeply sorry.
would hire again. We transferred. <sighs> We're sorry. Our post-release analysis of Crazy Town. Transport Adventure is a terrible combination. <laughs> Sound seems to be not very important for this type of game. And platform genre match. TES Adventure. Bad. <laughs> Minus two fans. No. Uh, we lost so much money on that. Recent studies suggest that increasing variety of gaming devices also increases, uh, creates a market more specialized games. Into our market. We expect developers to focus their games on specific age. Oh no. Okay. We have some research to do. I did not do everything wrong. <laughs> Mono sound. Target audience. That's a lot of money. But I think it's worth it. I lost another fan. <laughs> We're not doing good at all. Successfully research a target audience. Okay. Research a new topic. Technology. Business. Yes, every kid loves a business game. T the fuck was I thinking? Of course! Oh my god. Dude, we're gonna make a business game. We're gonna do a target audience business game about doing your taxes. I'm- I'm- I'm fucking excited. I'm so excited. Okay. Alright. I can target my audience. Wait, wait, before I do this, I should probably, um, I should probably do some contract work. Uh, this one would be... This one's gonna be a struggle. Stop scratching your head! Please stop! No, uh... Shoot. What a joke. I can't do that. I, I will not be able to do that. That's impossible. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. It's gonna be, um... It's gonna be a mature game, or it's gonna be a game for everyone. We're gonna do, um... Tax Tycoon. It's gonna be a business game. It's gonna be a simulation game. It's gonna be for the Commodore 64. And it's gonna be on the SUS engine. Okay? It's gonna be 2D gra- it's gonna be 2D graphics. Uh, version 1. We don't need version 2 graphics. It's a tycoon game. The gameplay is going to be very important. The story and quest is going to be very important too. And the engine is going to be very good. Dialogue, good. Artificial intelligence. You're going to have to fight other people. You're going to have to fight the, the legal system to try to commit tax fraud. Uh, that is a, a game design. Level design, there is not really much level design. Uh, but artificial intelligence and... Like, the artificial intelligence is related to the IRS. Dialogue and artificial intelligence. Yeah, just scratch your head. That's fine. I'm, I feel like I'm about to go out of business here. World design. Graphics, sound... Sound is is kind of important, but not that much. Okay. This game has to be a success. Here we go.
Did it. We did it. We're back in the green. We're back in the fucking green. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. <sighs> Good job, Fido. Oh my gosh. Marketed in North America, but it has the floor, um, but it, that will flourish in other parts of the country, okay? And? Post-release analysis of Tax Tycoon. Business relation is a great combination. Graphics seem to be very important for this type of game. It's good. Everyone, that's good. And to topic audience match business for everyone is great. Okay. People love business games. I think I could be able to do this one. I think I might be able to do this one. Yes, okay. Off the market, 36,000 units sold generating 255,962 in sales. Okay, cool. We did it. We made an uh, amazing game. Uh, we need to do um, game tutorials. Let's do a game tutorial. We'll add that to our thing, to our research. Top of the market. All right. Just researched uh, first engine part. You'll be able to use this in games. You need to create a new engine, which includes this part. Oh, okay. We <laughs> on tax evasion. Created game tutorials. New research available. Casual games. Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, I can't do that right now. But I do want to do a new topic. Dystopian? What are these, like, game genres? Dystopian? <laughs> I, there's only one game I know of about, like, a dystopian game, and, uh, Recent, um, market data shows that the, uh, Gavador 64 seems to be slowly losing market share against other PC manufacturers. It's an unofficial statement. It has been unsuccessful in introducing higher-priced computers to compete against newer, more advanced PCs. We're gonna have to switch over to PC now. Or we can make a, uh, dystopian. Alright, I have an idea for the new, for a new game, okay? Now, hear me out. I was thinking we do a mature game. Mature audience. It's gonna be called... Nuclear winner. It's a dystopian game. An RPG dystopian game. On the PC. With the sus engine. With 2D graphics ver version 2. We'll make ta Tax Tycoon 2 eventually. Stories and quest. These are very important in the engine. Leave it there. We'll do something like this. Gameplay is always important. It's not a linear story and it has a save game. Dialogue is important. Level design is very important in this. Kind of like this.
This game's gonna blow people's minds. At every po part of the way. We'll do it like this. Hi, I'm Steve O'Connell. I'm a reporter uh, for Planet GG. We've heard a rumor that your company is developing a game for mature audiences. Would you be willing to give an interview about this? Great, thank you for your time. We will publish uh, the interview next week. Introduce a portable gaming device called Gameling. Comes with changeable game cartridges, monochrome screen on the green background, built-in speakers, even a multiplayer support via a connection cable. Compared to PCs on their consoles, a Gameling um, is underpowered, but given the lower cost and excellent portability, it might find a huge following. Gameling said to hit shelves next month. I'm developing PC games. Planet GG has recently published an interview about clown makeup media. According to the interview, the company is working on its first game targeted for mature audiences. Fido, the owner of the clown makeup media, said, We think the players are looking for more mature content in games, and we are willing to take the risk to give it to them. Many industries experts say that the sooner or later games with mature things will become more common. We are curious to see how the market will react to these games. Developing a, a great game is not the only recipe for success. It is essential to build hype to ensure that in players are excited about your game. In the beginning of your career, hype is mostly generated through random events, but once you gain more experience, um, you can use marketing and other strategies to generate hype. You gotta get out those bugs. Can we edge out a little bit more in technology? A little bit more. Come on, just a little bit more. Here we go. <laughs> Let's see. Nuclear winner. Give it a 10. My first 10? Shit, okay. Has its moments. Enjoyable. It's not the game-breaking game yet. Falls a bit short. Okay. Well, now we know. Let's see if the fans have otherwise. Let's generate a report for our six. I think our best game so far has been... Hello? Oh, oh, sorry. That's not the history. That's the... So what's the problem with our game? Post-release. Dystopian RPG is an okay combination. Artificial intelligence seems to be not very important for this type of game. In platform genre match, uh, PC slash RPG is good. Alright, game history. Let's see here. Tax Tycoon was an 8. 8. 6.5. A 3. So I think our highest games were Gumby's, uh, Gumby's Rise Robot Attack. And... Tax Tycoon. Damn. I feel like we need to do contract work. Five weeks. Let's see if we can do this. Come on. Ten more. Come on. One, two, three, four. With the growing interest in video games, there's also a growing audience for video game magazines. These magazines offer a great way to, for new game developers to market their upcoming games. Cool. We did it! Yes! We have wired money to your account. 18,000 units sold. 
cool. Um, let's research. Let's do... I don't know about... What is mono sound? Mad. I guess we'll do mono sound. I don't know what... I guess uh, mono sound didn't exist yet. So we'll go ahead and do mono sound. And then we'll do a new topic. Cool. I don't know if we could create a new game engine yet, but, um... A comedy? Let's save our research points and create a new game engine. That would cost a lot of money. No linear story. Save games, find game tutorials and 2D graphics version 2. 120. We'll name this, um... Um... Factory reset. No. Geneva. Sus among us balls. <laughs> I'm not doing that. We'll just do Geneva. That sounds kind of neat. You have more than 1 million in cash, you will be able to move to your next, uh, level. This might sound like a lot, but don't worry, you'll release a hit game, uh... Once you release a hit game, you'll get this amount easily. Okay. Uh, spokesperson said... Okay, cool. I already know enough about video game development to know that the Game Gear did not succeed. We're gonna do a text-based adventure game. 100k engine. Invest over 100k in a new game engine. Cool. Your new game engine, Geneva, is now complete. Wait, do we have any contract work I could do? Oh yeah, this one. Oh yeah, take your time. Damn it! God damn it, you fucking stupid dumbass. Ugh. I'm not gonna be able to do that. That's too fucking much. <sighs> okay. It's gonna be a, uh, it's gonna be a game for everyone. Chocolate mint muddy buddies are the best. I've never had that. Uh. Tahiti's Descent. It's gonna be a dungeon, uh, dungeon adventure game. Or it's gonna be a dungeon strategy game for the PC. And it's gonna be on the Geneva. Although, I don't think I can do much with the Geneva. It's gonna be a text-based game. <laughs> it's gonna be a text-based game. No, it, it'll be a, uh, it'll be a 2D game. Let's see here. Engine. Let's add a game tutorial. A save game. Stories and quests. Not as much. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Dialogue is not as important in artificial intelligence as alright. Level design.
World Design Graphics Sound. Mono Sound 2D Graphics. Version 1. Sound. Up Graphics. Yep. World Design. Kind of like that. Fix out the bugs quick. Okay. Ah, my ears. We're constantly teetering on going bankrupt every fucking time. It's scary. Just released the latest game. Um, we see that you are financial. Uh, your financial difficulties since you just released your latest game, Tahiti's Ascent. Um, we are willing to offer you a mini credit to get you over this month's payment. We we'll give you to cover your costs. Expect to be paid back in full amount, plus a small administration fee. Okay. I just got bailed out. Tahiti's Descent has achieved the company's sales record with 50k units. This is an important milestone in history for clown makeup media. However, many factories around the world uh, were surprised today that Govador, uh, the creator of the popular G64, has filed for bankruptcy. Govador failed to introduce a higher price alternative and was forced uh, to shut down production. Sad. Oh my god. Tahiti's Descent has achieved a company sales record with over 100k units sold. Important milestone with the history of... Okay. According to the market research recently uh, published game Tahiti's Descent is a surprise hit with players. The developer clown media makeup is fairly new to the gaming industry, but we cannot wait for what they will develop next. This is their the games. Um, you made quite a name for yourself and saved up a lot of capital. If you want to grow your company further, um, I mean, to a new office is the next step. Fine. We did it. Welcome, welcome to your new office. Uh, now that you have a bigger um, office, you can now hire staff to forge a world-class development team to make even better games. Now you may also train yourself and your staff to improve your skills. Let's try this by completing a management course, which is required before you can hire your first employee. How is this message? Then click. It. Okay. Calm down. Calm down, game. Alright, so what made this game a hit? Level design seems to be important. Graphics seems to be not very important. And the genre is great. The audience is great. And the, to um, the topic is great. Okay. Uh, staff list. We can't do that just yet. Um, where is it? Oh, here we go. Train. Staff management. The amount of 92,800 has been deducted from here. Okay. If only I could make this much money from games. Four games of your platform earned a total of 740k. That's cool. 
proposition. Decrypt the message. A very special offer. Our agents have recently managed uh, to borrow some research information, which might be of interest uh, for you. If you're interested, then transfer 49k to the enclosed uplink location. We'll contact you. Agent Blowfish. Uh, sure. Thank you for your business. You have successfully uh, researched uh, alternate history. 200,000. Nice. And successfully completed management course. You're now able to hire your very first employee. Get to the started. Close this message. Then click fill position. You can hire someone. You, ad um, you have to advertise the open position. Okay. High budget will increase the number of applicants. Different tests. Okay. My budget is... Um, is 150 a uh, game demo I guess I was recently moved into an office a well-known technology park is now searching for employees the company is known for games such as Tahiti's descent and Gumby's rise attack rise robot attack <laughs> Um, I'm pretty sure I spelled descent wrong. <laughs> it was reportedly operated out of uh, a garage until now. One of the many fans of Tahiti's descent commented, I can't believe they didn't have even a proper office until now. Those games were created by only one person. I am really looking forward to their future games. Its position is complete. You can review the list. Okay. Don't forget that you can always train your employees to improve their skills. We have Beverly Larland. Okay. 30k per month. Uh, they're, they're mostly technology instead of design. I want someone with design instead of technology. Diego? Okay, well, Diego's pretty cool. The first employee is White's. Juanita Lopez. I don't think... Congratulations, your first hi hire. New employees have to settle before they can fully become effective. It's usually a good idea to give your new staff a welcome training. Okay. Medium games. We can make medium games now. Uh, welcome. And I guess you can... Okay. Training options. Better increase skills. Oh my god. Don't repeat yourself. These are book studies. What do these do? We don't know. Okay. Well then I'll hold off on that. And I guess I'll do... Um... I, I don't know. What's going on here? Oh, research. Okay. Yeah, let's do let's do medium games. Cool. Uh, and then you can research casual games. I feel like that would be a good investment. Hi, I've followed your progress in Clown Makeup Media or CMM for a while, and it seems that your recent expansion has started to develop larger games. Larger games deserve to be seen by more people, and this is where a publisher can come in handy. A publisher will market publisher games around the world. They will also help uh, fund development in return. They, may, um, they keep most profits, but since the game will sell a lot more, it is usually still worth it. I can put you in touch with some publishers so you can look at some available contracts. Just let me know. Publishing contract is unlocked. Okay. Once she's done, we'll go ahead and do this. Find a publishing deal. Let's create a uh, game engine. Oh, wait. We don't need to. Cool. Uh, let's do 
contract work. Come on. There we go. We did it. Cool. Alright. Develop a game. We're gonna make a medium game. It's gonna be for everyone. The topic is gonna be, um... I think it's time to make ta uh, Tax Tycoon 2. I think it's finally time to make Tax Tycoon 2. It's gonna be a simulation game. For the PC. On the Geneva con uh, engine. It's gonna have 2D graphics version 2. Larger games is a significant task, and unlike small games, one person cannot effectively be responsible for every aspect of the game. To create a good game and make the best use of your team, you'll have to assign uh, which of your team is responsible for which areas. Pick team members whose skill match the area to get the best result. Assign as team member. Okay. So. Development stave one. So, gameplay is very important. Story and quest isn't really that important. Game tutorial and save game is very important too, right? Engine is also good. I don't know how to... Oh! I see, okay. Right? And we'll do the story and quests. I guess she can do that. She shouldn't have to do too much. Okay. Dialogue? Uh, we don't need that much dialogue, actually. Just maybe a tiny bit. Um, level design. I guess. And then artificial intelligence isn't that important either. Oh, someone's gonna have to do something. Okay, so graphics is good. Or do mono sound. Uh, world design is also decent, but not as important as graphics. Sound can go down just a little bit. Kind of like this. Oh, actually, wait. Let's do that. Then we'll do this. And uh, this. Okay. I'm killing our, our workers. I'm murdering our workers. Alright, time to iron out bugs. Come on, one more. One more to design, come on. One more to design. Okay. It's still a new record either way, so we're good. First reviews, let's see.
Their focus and level design uh, served this game very well. Nice experience. I like it. Quirky, but good. It's not a huge success. But we'll see. I think... I think we'll generate a report. 6.75. And I think I'll have her train. To game dev gems, I guess. Alright, so let's see here. Dialogue doesn't seem important for this type of game and platform. Is, yeah, it's a great match. I have a knack for security. I think we could really do an invest in some security upgrades. Search. Uh, sure. Think so. Get right to it. Awesome. Okay. Let's do research. We don't have marketing yet, so let's do a new topic. Alternate history. Let's let's research alternate. We can't, so we have to actually do something here. Comedy. We'll do a comedy game. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll do a comedy game. I don't I don't know what it would be, but it's a comedy game, I guess. Um. Find a publishing deal. A great way to get your games in front of a large audience, which turns helps your fan base grow. Need, um, once your fan base is big enough, you can self-publish your larger games without the need for a publisher. Medium games, you should aim to have at least 100k fans uh, before you publish them yourself. Oh. Use a publisher. And sign a contract. Uh, pay attention to all the details, most importantly the minimum score the contract dictates. Game release does not meet the minimum score, you'll have to pay a penalty, which could be costly. It is important to pay attention to the royalty rate. The higher the rate, the more the money you will make from the contract. Okay. This is perfect. Penalty is 250k. Upfront pay is 90k and royalties are 10%. This is perfect. Minimum score six. We could have done this, uh, done this before. Let's do an alternate, uh, an alternate history, uh, alternate history RPG for the PC with the Geneva uh, version, and it's gonna be a an everyone game, and we're gonna name it. What should we name it? Uh, we're gonna name it. Um, Galactic uh, Galactic Dinosaurs. It's a medium game. We'll do a 2D graphics uh, version 2. Perfect. Uh, gameplay... Stories and quest is important, and the engine is also good. We don't need a tutorial, I don't think. Uh, sure, let's just have a tutorial. We'll have that, uh, this, and this. No, wait, we'll, we'll do this. That should be fine. Alright. Make me money. Make me money. How many did we sell? Some... 
Okay, that's not bad. That's still pretty good. Uh, dialogue is important. Artificial intelligence is somewhat important. And level design is somewhat important. So we'll kind of do it kind of like this. And we'll do, uh... We'll have Fido do that. Just kind of do this. Yeah. Perfect. Development stage two. From the time, uh, from time to time, your employees will need to recharge their batteries and go on vacation. You can tell that an employee is in need of a rest when their efficiency is steadily decreases. You give them a holiday, just click on them and send them on vacation. Oh, okay, that's important. I'll make sure to do that. Uh, so sound isn't as important. World design is important, and graphics are always important. Okay. We're gonna send everybody on vacation. V V vacation. It seems that the adventure games are especially popular at the moment. Uh oh. Well rip. Iron out the bugs. New record. Yeah. Woo. All right. Better user experience, level editor, and open world. 2D graphics version 3 and 3D graphics version 1. Okay. I'm going to send them on vacation. Come on. Enjoyable. Very enjoyable. Played it for days. Love it. There we go. We did it. Can I send- I guess my character doesn't need to go on vacation. 7.75. So yeah, we, we made that mark. We definitely made that mark with our publisher. Lowwood Productions. The game meets the required ratings. We are looking forward to future business. Let's go. We have a lot of research points. Alright, so start researching uh, into open world. Or, actually, 3D graphics version 1 would be good, or 2D graphics version. I think 3D... Okay. Better user experience. <sighs> Open world, or better user experience. I feel like open world would be an eye-opening game. Game option. Gameplay design option thing. Alternate uh, history RPG is a great combination. Engine seems to be not important for this type of game. Okay. Let's research. Uh, we don't have enough for it just yet. Let's do um marketing. We'll do marketing because that's such a huge important thing. Nice. SNES. Three D graphics version one. You've unlocked uh, marketing. You can access marketing and the options in the action menu. Okay.
We might want to um, hire a new person. Once uh, staff are expensive and many rookies hire too early and go bankrupt, it's best to take it slow. I mean, I I guess I guess you're right. 3D graphics version one. Let's create a custom engine. 3D graphics version one. It's gonna have linear uh, that uh, open world game engine mono uh, mono sound, and we're gonna name it. Geneva, uh, Geneva, um, V2, or just Geneva 2, let's do it, the better the engine, the better, BRB, okay, One million, oh my god! Almost two million copies. It seems that the market is normalized again with no particular strong. Console gaming, your new game engine Geneva 2 is now complete. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? Let's develop a new game, and we're gonna ne uh, develop a we're gonna develop a space RPG. We'll do uh, a s hold on. Let's go to publishing, and we're gonna do it on the SNES. It's gonna be a dungeon action. That sucks. Dungeon RPG. For anything. It's medium. Okay. We'll do a dungeon RPG on the PC. Because that's where it's really popular. Uh, we're going to use the Geneva 2. And we're going to make it a mature. A mature game. Mature audience. And we're going to do it. Um, guts blood. Um, wait. Wait. Devil's Reject. Devil's Reject. We only do original games here. We're gonna do, um... It's a dungeon. 3D might be interesting, but let's just stick with 2D graphics version 2. And we'll do gameplay, um, it's an RPG. Kind of like this. Engine isn't as important, so we're going to do it kind of like this. Like that. Hi, this is Arnie K uh, Kunkel from Electric Games. I got word that Clown uh, CMM is working on a new game. Would you be willing to share some information on your current game project and do an interview about it? Sure. Many of our readers are curious about what decisions go into making video games and how companies prioritize um, uh, development areas. Uh, your new game, Dungeon RPG game, can tell us whether such a game would usually receive more focus on level design or engine. More on level design. Thank you for your time. Oh god, okay. Dialogue is definitely somewhat important. Uh, I'm gonna do kinda like that. Artificial intelligence doesn't need to be that high. Um, and level design is also important. We'll do it kind of like that. 
in recent interview, CMM, we discussed their upcoming... Seems uh, the industry professionals agree with this. Every game development project has limited resources, so it's very important to use the time most efficiently. Okay, people agreed with me. Cool. I don't know what that does. Alright, world design... It's always good graphics and sound sound is not really that important we're gonna start with it we're gonna do an open world RPG dungeon open world dungeon RPG with mono sounds and graphics it's an open world oh, we got one hype Fix the bugs. Wait, what? Oh, Vony. Oh, okay. Vony has collaborated with Ninvino. Yeah, okay. Cool. The Vony and Ninvino. Okay. Cancel a project and said seek develop on the new console. Uh, okay, interesting. Cool. <clears throat> Let's release it. Simple cutscenes and better dialogues. All right, first reviews. Let's see what happens. Very good. That's good. Love it. RPG games work so well on the PC. Our first 10! We got our first 10 out of 10. Outstanding achievement. We did it. The game meets the requirements rating. We are looking forward to future business. All right. Generate a report. 8.75. Almost a 9.0. Two months till the TDS will be taken off the market. Uh, do some... How much are you for training? We should probably do some training. Uh, technology and... Uh, let's do this one. Make me think. This game and CMM has received very positive reviews overall. All games gave it a 10, saying outstanding achievement. If CMM continues to innovate like this, they might become a new fan favorite. Dialogue seem to be very important for this type of game. In platform audience, match, mature, great has blood uh, research let's see here um, better dialogues and simple cutscenes I think a better user experience would be good I'm not really looking for level editor really what is this very special offer our agents have recently managed to borrow some research information it might be of interest Thank you for your business. You have successfully researched game dev. Cool. Thanks. TS is no longer supported. You received- you made one game. On there. Nice. And uh, apparently on the SNES, I think we- we s No, no, we did it on the PC. Uh, research. Simple cutscenes. Better dialogue. I guess, um... What's the new topics we have? Mad science, law. Nothing really here that interests me. Let's do simple cutscenes.
research better dialogue I think we could definitely work with having another employee uh two oh my god so much money we're making money we'll do 200k um show reel it's toward adventure games right now okay Bryce Wright. Oh my gosh. Okay. Arthur B. Let's do Arthur B. Diversity. Have male and female staff. Uh, cool. Famous. Hire someone famous. This guy's famous? Alright, let's train them. Uh, sent on vacation. I guess we could create a new custom game engine. Once we have everybody. Again, I hear you've had you've been successful in the gaming industry business. Like regular team, I've updated the client list. Okay, cool. Size contracts are now available. Cool. Alright. So. I think. I don't know what this bar means. I think that's just like stress or something. I don't know. It's gone away. So, I think we should. Create a custom game engine with simple cutscenes. Better dialogue, uh, better user experience. Develop. We're gonna create a new game engine that's called Game Engine Number Four. I forgot to name it. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I forgot to name. <laughs> Got to name the fucking thing. Okay. Any topic, any genre. Perfect. Let's make a super NES game. It's gonna be... Oh, it has to be for mature audiences. Okay. We're going to do a mature, a mature business game. It's going to be a simulation. It's going to be a casual game. The Super TES on Game Engine 4. And it's going to be a medium game and it's going to be called... Um... Uh... IR IRS IRS did you dirty It's going to be a uh, 3D graphics. No, we'll just do 2D graphics again. The IRS did you dirty. There's going to be gameplay, story, so they're going to be, it's a simple cutscene, a better user experience. It's a casual game, so quests aren't really that important, honestly. The engine and the gameplay is always important. We'll have Arthur B. work on the... Okay, we'll have Arthur B work on that. 
There we go. Better dialogue. Artificial intelligence isn't really that much of a factor. Dialogue is somewhat important. Level design is always important. Or a business casual. We're gonna do something like, uh... Actually, let's have Fido do this. And, yeah. I don't even know what game this is supposed to be. <laughs> World design, uh, the sound. Everybody loves a, a wonderful sound, right? World design. design <laughs> okay we're creating an amazing game I don't even know if this is if this is even good <laughs> this, is, this kind of seems like a shit shit show came game, game convention dear CMM we have followed your progress in recent years and we'd like to extend a formal invitation to participate in the biggest game convention having your own company uh, okay. Nothing new. I don't think this combo will, combo will work, but... <laughs> Okay, <laughs> it's a, a business casual. Due to increased experience, the following staff has earned a raised. Uh, Juanita Lopez, okay. First reviews of the newly... Not bad, not good. Meh. Casual is a terrible combination. Uninspiring. Uh-oh. No! T Platinum. The game doesn't live up to expectation. As per uh, contract, penalty will be applied. Rip. I guess we're just not console cre uh, game creators. Nobody likes our console games ever. If we look at if we look at our history, if we look at our game history, a uh, console uh, game three point seven. Uh, our other console game a two point five. Those are the only times we've ever made a. Um like a piece like a console game and every time we've done it it's been bad so i think our games are not console games as from what it seems i'm gonna train this person person into doing um yeah we'll, we'll up technology and design uh as for research i think oh yeah we need to ch uh, generate a report and this person can do research into... We just don't have enough just yet. We're about to. One more. Our games. 500k. We're a small team. 
We'll just do a small booth. All right, research 2D graphics version three. Seems that the initial sales of IRS Digi Dirty have fallen below expected numbers. The game received moderate reviews, but it seems to have the chosen platform isn't very popular for the target audience. Terrible combination. <laughs> Level design is, is, isn't important. And the mature rating is bad. So that was just a bad deal. I didn't realize that it was specifically a mature rating. What a joke. What? So many people are coming to our convention to look at a very terrible game. We didn't even make it to the top 100 boosts this year. Once we gain more fans, I'm sure we will. That's just depressing. Okay. We don't need 3D gra- well, yeah, we could use 3D graphics part, uh, one, but we'll do, uh, V3 simple cutscenes, open world mono sound. We'll just have everything and we'll name it, um, we'll name this the, uh, the Genesis, Genesis Tech. Genesis engine. Prototype has been cancelled. Uses C D games. We'll make a we'll make a PlayStation game. Sequels. We can make a sequel. Oh, so the game that we made before, which was let's see here. Tax Tycoon 2 wasn't even actually a sequel. It was just a game called Tax Tycoon 2. <laughs> Alright, let's make a game for the PlayStation. Nice. And also, let's do some research on a new topic. Ninja. Why ninja? <laughs> Completed law. You can make a law game. No. Okay. We're going to create a medium size game. Minimum score has to be 5. 8% upfront pay is 75k. It has to be Mad Science Adventure? No. Dungeon of any genre. Game size medium. It has to be on the PC. I don't want to do any of those. Let's just develop a, uh, a medium sized game. On our own. We're gonna name it, uh, it's gonna be, first of all, it's gonna be a fantasy RPG on the PlayStation. The Genesis. We're gonna name it, um, Sequel Fantasy. And it's going to be a game for everyone. We're going to make it on 3D graphics version 1. Or we should just do 2D graphics version 3, honestly. 2D graphics version 3.
and we're gonna do stories and quest. We're gonna do engine, which is not as important, and gameplay is always important. Better user experience, game tutorial, save game, simple cutscenes. Hi, this is Julian from Gamer Pro. We got word that CMM is working on a new game. Are you willing to share some information on the current project? Expectation regarding the success of of, um, of sequel fantasy. Do you think that the game will be well received? Hype game. Thank you for your time. This game is going to blow your balls off. There's a clear trend towards adventure games. This fantasy RPG game is going to be very important. Level design. Dialogue. Everything has to play out just right. No. Fido do does that. Neither does that. Arthur B. does that. Better dialogue. Sequel fantasy is going to be such an important game in the ser in a line of series, multiple games. World design, graphics, and sound. Like this. We'll do graphics just a little bit lower. Kind of like this. We have to make sure world design is very important, so we're gonna kind of do it like this. We'll have Fido do world design. We need to do graphics. Okay. All right, patch out those bugs. Here we go. This is it. Our best game ever made. Our best game ever made here we go go on vacation first reviews it's gonna be 10 out of 10s status set a new standard for early gaming history we have created a fucking phenomenal fucking game an exclusive interview a while ago fido from cmm made a very bold remarks about their in-game development uh, game sequel predicting that it will be an uber success now that the game is out, the market is uh, consistent is that Fido was spot on as the game has received very positive reviews. Overall, this had a positive effect on sales. Boss, someone seems to have stolen our credit card um, information and used it to buy lots of things in the past three months. Unfortunately, we have lost $5,854.46. Sad. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna do... Can we not um, reflect? Gold, sell half a million copies of a game without the help of a publisher. We just got word that Sequel Fantasy has just recently released 
a uh, by CMM has racked up over 500k in sales. We wonder how many more it will sell. Generate a game report at 9.75. Sequel Fantasy, the newest game in CMM, has caused a storm of good reviews and excited customers. Industry professionals say that the Sequel Fantasy is one of these rare games that will set a new quality standard for future games. <laughs> Ironic that it's a it's it's literally just a parody of Final Fantasy, and of course, it, it's it's a, a cult classic. It seems that CMM really ha um, has made gaming history with sequel fantasy. Well done. <laughs> Good job, team. Game design for pirates, and uh, game design for pirates. Let's see what this does. Platinum, sell 1 million copies without the help of a publisher. We just got word that Sequel Fantasy has released. Has made over 1 million sales. The excitement around the game has seemed to have seems to have no end. It's ranked number 2 most sold game. Rank 3. Post release. Seems a great combination. Graphics seem to be important for this type. It's great. Platform match. Everybody is great. Topic audience match. Great. Cool. Let's train our character. Let's go ahead and let everybody train. Two months in the Vena. Okay. Not a surprise. Let's go ahead and do some research for sequels. I want to make a sequel uh, to f uh, sequel fantasy. Eventually, we gotta we gotta really wait here. All right. Well, we gotta do a fucking large fucking booth. We have to do a large booth. Seems that the market is normalized with a sh uh, with no strong uh, set look on stuff or whatever. Ninja. And you know what? We'll research level editor, cause screw it. Don't go out of sale just yet. Keep going. No. Sequel Fantasy sold almost 2 million copies, generating almost 20 million in sales. more we didn't even make the top 100 damn Vina gear is no longer supported I think we should develop a custom engine I don't think we should develop a sequel just yet Actually, let's not develop an engine because level editor doesn't isn't necessary. Okay, we're gonna create a new game. Actually, hold on. Uh, let's go ahead and research a new topic. Expedition. Uh, sure. Back from dinner. Hey, uh, we just sold one of the best games ever made. Uh, sequel fantasy <laughs> for the PlayStation. I wonder what game this was. One of the best games. Top sales rank is number two. It only cost six hundred thousand. We made a profit, a massive profit. So now we're just kind of existing. Time travel. These are really dumb genres. Not gonna lie. Give me something where- There we go. Horror. Horror. Let's develop a horror game. But we will not develop a sequel yet until... Um... Until I feel like we, we deserve to. You know what? Let's develop a sequel to Tax Tycoon. We're going to develop a sequel to Tax Tycoon. 
which was uh, a very popular game. It's going to be Tax Tycoon 2. Um... It's going to be in every game, and uh, it's going to be a medium game, business simulation, on the PC. And it's going to be on the Genesis engine. It's going to be 2D graphics version 3. This is going to be the best version of Tax Tycoon. We're going to do engine. Uh, stories and quests isn't really that important. Simple cutscene, game tutorial, and better user experience. So we're gonna kind of do it like this. Uh, let's have, um, yeah, gameplay is always really important. Engine is always important too. We're gonna have Arthur B. do that and, um, have Juanita Lopez do that. We're getting some hype for Tax Tycoon 2. Artificial intelligence isn't nearly as important. Dialogue isn't nearly as important. And level design is. Because it's a simulation game. An open world? I guess it's an open world game, wouldn't it? Let's have Arthur B do that and we need to do that. Graphics is important though. Always remember that. So we're gonna do kinda like this. Kinda like this. Cool. Nah, nah. Really? Okay, here we go. <sighs> All right, business simulation tax tycoon two IRS plus. Ignore the other tax tycoon two game. This is an actual sequel. All right. Due to increased experiences, the staff has earned a raise, Arthur B. Also, give yourself a vacation. First game reviews for Tax Tycoon 2 IRS Plus has come in. Enjoyable. Nice experience. Good game. Beautiful. It's a 777. Nice. CMM has recently released a sequel to their game, uh, Tax Tycoon. The newest game in the series, titled Tax Tycoon 2 IRS Plus, was met with great responses. It wasn't... It wasn't necessarily a... If you look here... And game history it's a seven compared to tax tycoon one which was an eight so i guess it's gonna it's gonna definitely have its fans compared to tax tycoon one um so we'll still have like you know how like some people prefer other games right 
So we'll have a, a pretty decent audience of people who may like Tax Tycoon 2 more. Because not... Reviews don't necessarily mean what the standards are, of course, right? Uh, let's go ahead and generate a report. And we're going to research new game topics. Zombies. We got, we got to develop, develop a zombie RPG in a post-apocalyptic... Okay, now we're getting into the fun shit. Uh, gain access, yeah, yeah. I don't know what we just did. Re <laughs> Revengeance edition. Yeah. Alright. Our post-release analysis. World, world design seems to be, be not very important. Okay, so we'll make sure to lower the world design. Uh, we're going to develop a new game. It's going to be a mature game. And it's going to be called... Um, wait! We're going to develop a sequel. To another classic game that we made. Nuclear Winner. We're going to make it a mature game. It's going to be not a dystopian it's going to be a post apocalyptic rpg it's different after the after the after the wars of the, the dy dyspo, uh, dystopian um, world of nuclear winter nuclear winter 2 takes place after the events of nuclear winter 1 Nuclear disaster. Nuclear winner 2. <laughs> For the PC. On the Genesis engine. Nuclear fall. Well, we're not, we're not, we're not gonna be like, people like it whenever you name things with numbers, so it's easier to follow. You don't have Diablo 2, fall, uh, the wanderer has fallen. It's called Diablo 2. So Nuclear Winter 2 is taking place after the dystopian RPG game. And it's going to be a post-apocalyptic game from now on. Um, taking place after the uh, dystopian. You'll see. We're going to do 3D graphics uh, version 1. Or should we do uh, 2D graphics version 3? I feel like we should do 3D graphics version 1. All right. Stories and quests are always important. Gameplay is always important. So we're going to do it like this. Simple cutscenes. Save game. Game tutorial. Better experience. And the engine is not as important. So we're going to do... Um, Arthur is going to work on that. And Winita is going to work on that. Okay, capiche. In a statement, uh, the game development company Lionfeet Studios it says they have been a victim of industrial sabotage. Unfortunately, game development on their current project has been severely affected. Police are investigating. I accidentally uh, paid for a huge scandal. Dialogue is going to be very important. Level design... We can lower that. Artificial intelligence is going to be important. Level design is also going to be good. But I feel like dialogue is going to be up there. Kind of like that. Level design is going to be here. Actually, we're going to make the, the best um, artificial intelligence we possibly can afford. Is better Call of Duty? No, it's it's a uh, Fallout. Nice. This is our version of Fallout. We're gonna do a medium booth. 
All right, we'll just do a we'll just do a um a small booth. Graphics, world design is going to be very important compared to graphics, and sound can stay where it is. Fido has a lot on their hands, but eh. I think I chose open world, right? Is o Was open world checked? I didn't check. I completely forgot to look. Nuclear winner 2, let's see. didn't make it in the top 100 sad but it, it added a huge amount of hype to the game all right do we use um I don't even know if we used open world or not. I hope we did. Character progression. Oh my god. First reviews for the newly released game Nuclear Winter 2 came in. <laughs> That's not good. Great sequel. Enjoyable. Loved it. Okay. That's decent. That means that we got a seven, so that's better than the that's better than the original. There we go. It's better than the original. Which is a good thing. Gener generate a report. Uh research get character progression and you research uh new topic. Let's see here. Hunting. We'll actually not do that. Uh, train. Design. Technology. Okay, we'll do this one. I'll train you. Um... Uh, post-apocalyptic is great. Dialogue seems to be not very important for this type of game. Okay. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna develop a sequel to sequel fantasy. It's about time. You know what sequel fantasy always- or Final Fantasy always did? Is constantly released sequels to their games. It's time to create a sequel. Fantasy RPG for the PlayStation on the Genesis engine. Sequel Fantasy II. <laughs> it's a game for everyone, and it's a medium sized game. 3D graphics version 1 Or should we do 3D gra uh, should we do 2D graphics? Let's do 2D graphics version 3. Sequel isn't spelled right. What did I name it originally? Hold on. Yeah, I spelled sequel wrong. Whatever. Who cares? Who cares? 
It's quirky. It, it's made by um, uh, Japanese folk who don't they don't speak English very well. There. Uh, okay. Story and quest are very important. Especially for this game. Gameplay can be lowered. It's like this. Engine can be lowered even more. Fido can work on the story and quest. Mina can do that and Arthur B can do this. Perfect. Let's do it. Hi, this is Jorg Longer from Game Nova. I got word that CMM is working on a new game. Were you willing to... Yes. What is your expectation regarding the success of of Sequel Fantasy 2? Do you think the game will be well received? Um... Should we be modest or hype? Let's hype the game. Thank you for your time. We're gonna hype the game. Hype means more money. Dialogue is gonna be very important for the for the sequel to the game. Artificial intelligence isn't gonna be that important. Level design uh, will be important. So it's gonna be dialogue, uh, level design. Actually, dialogue isn't gonna be as important as level design. I think. Wait, no wait, no wait, no wait. Dialogue. So it's gonna be like this. Fido can do that. We need to can do that. Arthur B can do that. Okay. In two months, the Super TS will be taken off the market. Nuclear winner is off sale. Generated a decent amount. Hype 69. World design. Graphics gonna have to be very important for this one sound is fine no one cares about sound as much uh, okay Oh my god, the hype. Boss, I've discovered that there's some really dedicated fans of Tax Tycoon 2 have created a fan game using a lot of the material from our game. They don't make any money with it, and it seems to be doing, uh, seem to do it for our fellow fans. Our legal advisor strongly suggests that we shouldn't allow this to go on. What do you want to do? So oh, you're gonna use my material in your game, huh? Hmm. They aren't making money though, so they're literally not making money, so it doesn't matter to me. If they were making money, then it's different. I'm still not a, a massive corporation, so I can't be doing stupid shit anymore. Or at the moment. I can't do stupid shit yet. Hi, Denise Reed. I'm a main developer of Tax Tycoon 2 fan game. I've recently been informed your legal department has advised you to stop us. I just wanted to say I'm very grateful that you didn't. Um, uh, CMM is the best company in the world, and I'm glad I can be part of the fan community. I've gained 3,110 fans. If they did make money from it. Yeah, but they're big enough to where it doesn't matter. So we're pretty much... Alright, 69. Perfect. Here we go. Let's do this. Dialogue tree and day and night cycle. Those are gonna be great. Let's do this. It's a perfect game. One of the best. 
outstanding game. Very enjoyable. Perfect. We already made an 8.5. So it's it's not as good as as groundbreaking as sequel fantasy. But that's because it's the sequel, right? Once we once we really start to innovate, I think we will we'll get something. And the hype is crazy. Generate a report and go ahead and research day and night cycle and you research quickly research dialogue trees in an exclusive interview a while ago Fido very bold remarks in their in game sequel predicting that it would be uber successful not the game is on the market spot on the game received very positive reviews overall it had a positive effect on sales good recently released a sequel to their game sequel fantasy the newest game in the series titled sequel fantasy 2 was met with great response we did it already going up in price or going up in sales cmm surprises us again with a very enjoyable game a perfect example of how of on how dialogues and game can be so much more thrilling than in a movie or book at every stage it felt like i really had choices um and it was driving the story to uh, CMM Media keep uh, the hits coming. Thanks. Thanks, Ernie. Uh, Super Fantasy is the following. Gameplay seems to be quite important for this type of game. Yeah. Alright, go on vacation. They're begging for a third. They're on their knees. They're being they're they're literally licking the floor um hunting we have some good genres here though ah sure can't do anything yet okay We'll go ahead and do a small booth. All right, uh, quickly go on vacation, and then when you get back, it's time. All right, are you back yet? Okay, I guess they go on vacation for a while. Ah, oh, almost. Boss, our office could really do with a renovation. Sure. Nice. We didn't make it. Dear CMM, since you has become the biggest meetup in developers, we've decided to use your name the greater good. Starting today, we offer different game development challenges throughout the year. Game devs around the world can complete. This will be a great day for game developers to learn new. There's no prices. Okay. Let's do contract work. This one seems doable. Cool. Thanks for the 32k. The Dreamcast. Wait. Next generation console company Dreamcast has come true. This console is the most advanced gaming console in history. New po console sports, powerful graphics, hardware, promising... Uh, we got we gotta make it. We gotta we gotta make a that. We gotta. Uh, let's hire a new person. We're gonna hire somebody. Our budget is gonna be five hundred thousand. Okay, five hundred and ten. We're gonna do demo reel.
Ah, oh, this person will be perfect. Andrew Webb. Alright, Andrew Webb. Go ahead and get up to par with everybody. What's going on with these guys? Um, okay. We're gonna develop a new game. Actually, do can we make a new engine yet? Oh, we can. Okay. So we're going to add some more stuff. And we're going to name it... The Seek... The Seek... <laughs> the Sequel. Sequel. 5,000. <laughs> That's a good name. No, just before exclamation point, close parentheses, close parentheses, K, 100K. You could hit caps lock. 500K engine, we did it. Your new engine has been completed. Perfect. Alright. Let's develop a new game. We're gonna develop a new game in the series. It's going to be a zombie. It's gonna be a zombie RPG. Wait. Oh, I wish I could do a simulation RPG. That would be a lot of fun. Zombie RPG for the PC. On the sequel 5000. And it's going to be a mature game. And it's going to be called... Um... Left for Dread. <laughs> so it's going to be 3D graphics version 1. <laughs> Left for Dread. Uh, it's going to have character progression. Save game, simple cutscenes. Game tutorial, better user experience. Gameplay is going to be very important. Quests are going to be very important as well. And engine will be a little bit important. Andrew Webb, you can develop the uh, the story and quests. And Fido can do the gameplay. And Arthur B can do... I guess it doesn't matter. Arthur can just hang out. All right. Left for Dread Zombies RPG. We're like Bethesda, but better. Level design is very important. Artificial intelligence, dialogue tree, and level editor. I, I don't know why we'd need a level editor, but sure. We'll add it into the game. Uh, Andrew Webb. You can do uh, level design. Arthur B can do artificial intelligence. Actually, uh, Fido can do artificial intelligence and Arthur B can do dialogue. And then we'll have Juanita help with stage three. I need to train these two and um, this guy, my character. Day and night cycle, open world, mono sound. World design is very important. Graphics are very important. We'll just do it like that. Kind of like this. We'll do, um, Anita. 
on the graphics. Yeah, that's fine. Graphics. Andrew or do Arthur. Perfect. Now everybody is not overworking. Boss, it's way too hot in our office. He is starting to impact our work. Nice. We got air conditioning. Alright, let's have him fix the bug. The bugs. Oh yeah. That hurt my ears. Let's do it. Do to increase experience. Cool. Multiplayer branching story and better AI. <sighs> clear the trend. There's a clear trend towards RPG games right now. Holy fuck. Right, right when the game just released. And it's, it's, it's not anything. Okay. Oh, wait. Hold on. Nice experience. Good game. Okay. It did alright. It got a... It got a uh, 7.25. That's not bad. That's not bad. Generator report. Go ahead and do research on... <sighs> better AI. Research, uh, branching paths, and research. Ah, hold on. Go ahead and add some points. Oh, yes! Okay, we got it. We have to release a. We have to make Shinmu. We're gonna make Shinmu. If possible. RPGs is a good combination. Game seems to be quite important for this type of game. Andrew Webb is still new to the team. A few more games, and the team will have a higher potential. Ah, yeah. In two months, the Vienna Oasis will be taken off. Multiplayer. All right. Uh, let's do a... Sure, we'll do a small booth. Let's do... um. Would that be have to be added to the engine? It would. New game engine. Better AI. Mono sound. Alright. We're gonna name this. Three. There's no there's no second one. It's just it's, we're just skipping straight to three. <laughs> no, no. And then we'll skip straight to ten on the next one. Cause why not? It's an okay amount. No. Alright, it's time. The reason why I'm, I'm also doing this is we get a bunch of research, which means I can train... Well, I can send them on vacation. Uh, research a new topic. Let's see if we can do... Virtual pet comedy. Let's 
dystopian government technology business. Um, I guess we'll do music. Don't know why. Other than so we can unlock more stuff to research. It's now off the uh, market. Okay. Research city. Just a city. I don't know what I want to make now. Multi genre. Oh my god. Why? Why did you give this after? Uh, okay. Sit on vacation. Um. How do I, um, how do I market something? I guess I'd have to do it in the middle of a thing. Market is normalized again. Cheese? Hi, Emmy. Are you getting better? Are you, uh, are you feeling better? Oh, no. Okay. Let's develop a new game. Yeah? Alright. That's good. Imagine getting sick. Alright. Develop a new game. Topic. Okay. We're gonna do the dream. I wanna do the Dreamcast. Let's do a hunting game on the dream. No, we'll do city. We'll do a city. A medium sized city. Um. Casual. A city simulation. Uh, adventure. A city action game. We'll do city casual for the Dreamcast. And it's gonna be on the Genesis 3. I don't even know what a city casual would be, so maybe I should change it. Um. Hunting, a hunting casual game for the Dreamcast. And it's gonna be for everyone. And it's gonna be called, um... A hunting sim. Deer stabbing. It's just called deer, deer stabbing. It's for a mature audience. This is Master V will be taken off uh, the market. Can we do a? How do I do a marketing? Can I not do marketing, or is that just? Oh, here it is, marketing. Marketing can be very effective. Potential customers too. Best works. Okay. It's also important that no matter how much money you pump into marketing, it will not make a bad game successful. We're gonna do um. We're going to do a large campaign for deer stabbing. We have to really pump out the engine. Story and quest isn't really that important. It's a simulation game. Who cares? Uh, there's going to be a multiplayer aspect to it. Um, it has a game tutorial. Uh, character progression? No. Better user experience? Yeah. Simple cutscenes. We don't even need cutscenes. Gameplay is very important, though. Um, we need a. You can do that. We'll save those for people for later. All right, develop. We're making hype. We're making massive hype for deer stabbing. Hi, this is uh, Kurtan Gillen from Gamers. I got word that CMM is working on a new game. Would you be willing to share some information on your current game project and do an interview about it? Of course. 
Kurt and Gillen, what is your expectation uh, expectation regarding the success of deer stabbing? Do you think it will uh, be well received? I'm gonna be modest. Thank you for your time. I'm gonna be modest about it. I don't think it's. I don't think the audience for deer stabbing is gonna be that big. Dialogue isn't really that important for a game like this. Artificial intelligence is very important, and level design is also. Not as important, but still important. And we're going to have uh, Andrew work on that. Uh, Fido can work on that. And Arthur B can do that. Uh, let's have Juanita work on this. Arthur, uh, Save Arthur B for something else. For stage three, I think. Oh, man. I need to get a drink. <gasps> the PS2. Unlike the Dreamfast, uh, the PlayStation 2 does not focus much on online play, but instead seems to focus on the strengths of the previous PlayStation. Uh, PlayStation. Okay. Solid upgraded controller, DVD titles, and stuff like that. Cool. PlayStation 2 is amazing. All right. World design. Nah, nah, nah. Graphics. Sound is very important in this. It's a, it's a deer hunting sim. All right. Arthur B. Okay. So Andrew Webb can work on that. Arthur B can work on that. Just kind of have it like kind of like a balanced system, right? Open world, day and night cycle, 3D graphics version one. Uh, world design is somewhat important. Not as important as sound and graphics, but it is important. A amazing hunting sim for Dreamcast. I don't think I've ever heard of a hunting sim on Dreamcast. One of the fastest selling consoles in history. Patient for the sewing sales. We want to at least have one game on the Dreamcast because it is a cult classic console. Remember that. Perfect. Alright, go through. Yeah! Professional, reach level 5 with a character. Nice. Someone on your team has reached experience level 5 and unlocks a special training called uh, Boost. Training for it is expensive and can only do it once, but the character has at least 500 design or technology points to it. Uh, but the... Do it once the character has... Okay. But the investment is well worth it. Once trained, the Boost allows you to temporarily increase the output of your staff and can really help make a hit game. Do the increase experience. Okay. Social training available. Okay. Oh, we can make V2? Ooh. Alright, let's see. Is deer hunting... Is deer stabbing a hit game? God damn it. Focus on our official intelligence approved very well. Damn. Well, 6.25 isn't bad. Oh my god, what the hell? Oh, it's the Xbox. Ew. <laughs> it's the M. The M box. Multi genre. That's gonna be very. Uh, I wanna do multi genre and then kind of work on that. Ah. Uh. We have to do a sequel to Sequel Fantasy. We have to do a sequel to Sequel Fantasy. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. Okay. Alright. Research. 3D Graphics Version 2. And if you can, research into stereo sound. We will do multi-genre after. Once we get these in, uh, pumped into a new 
into a new game engine. We're gonna create Sequel Fantasy 3 for the PlayStation 2. Alright, create a new custom engine. 3D Graphics 3. We no longer need uh, these in there. Linear Story, we don't need that. We never use that. Branching, simple cutscenes, save, multiplayer, we don't need. Well, we'll have multiplayer. Game Tutorials, better user experience. Car character Progression, Dialogue Tree. Level Editor can get removed. Better AI. Stereo Sound. Perfect. And we're going to name it... The Genesis 10. Here we go. We're gonna do we're gonna do a small booth. And we're gonna be developing a sequel. To sequel fantasy 2. It's gonna be called Se <laughs> sequel sequel fantasy 3. It's gonna be a I don't I think it was always in everyone. It's gonna be on the PS2. And it's gonna be on the Genesis 10. Oh boy, I'm excited. It's going to be 3D graphics version 2. The game hasn't even come out yet. <laughs> it hasn't even come out yet. Ah, okay. Gameplay is very fucking important, as well as stories and quests. Character progression is also very important. Multiplayer. Sequel Fantasy 3 doesn't need multiplayer. Simple cutscenes. Engine uh, can go down just a little bit. Let more development time go towards those. There we go. We didn't make it. It's off the market. It's pretty good. We're gonna do marketing. We're gonna do large campaign. For, for our lovely, lovely game. Sequel fantasy. Dialogue is very important, as well as artificial intelligence can go down a lot, and we'll kind of do it like this. Better AI. Dialogue tree, better dialogue. Arthur B. Can work on that. Juanita can work on that. Graphics are very important. Stereo fucking sound. Open world, day and night cycle, 3D graphics part 2. World design up, graphics up. Like this, sound down. Perfect. And we'll have Fido do graphics. And your web do sound, we'll have that. Okay.
Let's go. Do the increased experience following staff. Okay. Just received letter from all all your IP belongs to us, and they say that your engine is infringing on their patents. Graciously offer the price to license their patent to two million, and are willing to give us fifty percent discount if we pay them. Uh, go to court. Can't wait for the sequel. Awesome. Almost perfect. Great. We did it. Sequel Fantasy 3. Came back just in time. Boss, CMM has grown well under your management. I think it's time the company move out of Technology Park in a building worth of your success. Perfect building for our new headquarters. It's not cheap, but it'll allow us. Let's do it. New office. Computer headquarters uh, of CMM. Now have more space to increase the team further. Cool. I think it's time for... Uh, these people to go to go to vacation oh wait hold on no 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 go on vacation Andrew Webb wow this new office is amazing location too I took a walk around earlier and there's this radical idea why don't we open up our own research development department and really spend the time researching and allow us to attack bigger projects innovation cheap okay done some research i think we should open a lab to hire a whole team of researchers but before we can do however we must at least have at least one design specialist in our team you need the design specialist to open a development lab you can train someone to become a specialist via the training menu but the option is only available once they have a certain design skill level once you train technology specialists it'll come in handy all right uh i need to train this person into uh Seven hundred. Okay. Well, then just do this and just fucking pump their development. Uh, the court case has been against us, stating the claim was ridiculous. All costs were paid by the suing party. Gentlemen, surprise hit of the year sequel, Fantasy Three by CMM. A perfect example of how dialogues and games can be, can be so much more thrilling than a movie or a book. Thanks. And then we have this. Hello, CMM. We just learned that you have opened a new headquarters. Uh, special course. Game development. That would really help. Unfortunately, we cannot offer any pay. Okay. I think I need I need something to drink. My throat's killing me now. I. <laughs> uh, okay, so let me go BRB real quick. And let me go get a drink. <laughs> Okay. I got my water. Whew. <sighs> All right. Save? I haven't saved. Okay. Um, research. We don't have multi-genre just yet. 
some pictures of your new office, cutting edge. I'm sure you're doing very well, need a top budget, couple big jobs. Cool. Uh, demo reel. Give me someone excellent. Uh, this person will do. Go ahead and train them. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, generate a report. Shape like that, yeah, they're kind of dumb. Uh, research in any new topics. Hacking that doesn't really seem like an interesting topic. I think what we should do as soon as we finish our report, it's got word that Sequel Fantasy 3 was just recently released by CMM, has racked up over 500k in sales. If the game were a music record, it would have a gold status. The excitement around the game seems to have no end. Nice. Nice. Oh, the BRB screen's still on. Sorry. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, cool. Sound seems to be not very important for this game. Platform genre. Match. It's good. That's good. Wait, what the? Oh, you can do that? I didn't know you could do that. Um, okay. We're gonna do contract work because, uh, it gives us... Yeah, it gives us more, whatever, research points. Let's do some more contracts. Cool. It's now off sale, and it sold a bunch of money, as uh, or whatever. Uh, research multi genres. There we go. Let's go start researching, and uh, let's go ahead and train this person. We cannot. Let's just keep doing contracts. Seems that they're doing really good for us. Multi-genres, contract. Let's keep doing contracts. Okay, this one was set up for us to fail. That one was dumb. Whatever. Let's do a better one. This one's fine. There we go. Um. Alright. Let us, do we have any new things that we can add? Level editor, mono sound, no, okay. Let's do staff list. Let's develop a new game. And let's do, what, sh what topic should we do? Dungeon? Let's do a dungeon. Mature. A dungeon strategy RPG. And it's gonna be on the play system too. It's a medium sized game. It's gonna be on the Genesis. Wait. I've got to name it. Sex Dungeon. Um 
I think we could come up with a better name. <laughs> XXX Dungeon. Savior of the... Pussy cat. Savior of the cat. <sighs> yeah, it's gonna be 3D graphics version 2. <laughs> Gameplay RPG there's gonna be multiplayer the engine I Think it should be like that Let's have a Andrew Webb Can't wait for XXX Dungeon on VR. Uh oh. Here we go. Come one, come all. <laughs> Not literally, of course. Damn. Sobering announcement has confirmed a discontinuation. That's sad. We made one game. We're gonna do a large... A large campaign. Dialogue. <laughs> Artificial intelligence. Level design. This is a classic. Arnie Kunko got word that CMM was working on a game. Were you willing to? Sure. Expectation. Hype the game. This is going to be our next big hit. Darlene can work on the sound design. Game <laughs> gets all tens. <laughs> World design. Uh, graphics. Perfect. Apparently you can rename it, but whatever. like all porn games. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's generate a report on how this game was so bad. <laughs> what do you mean it had an overall negative effect? Oh, yeah. Ew. Uh, we're not going to be able to look back on, on this one, are we? Yeah, do that. Um, you do...
you do uh try this out and you I guess I'll send you on vacation game report there's a lot of issues <laughs> there's a there's a lot of issues with our game we just need to get more um design system is no longer report uh supported that sucks supported a highly praised move to get more women into technology roles women in the game industry i lost i lost fans this is uh this is not a good luck on us uh as a company this is not really a good luck at all uh gonna be honest uh this was this was a huge mistake on our part. Oh, this is actually worth it. Okay. Alright, cool. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and... I don't think there's anything we can really research, can we? We can research a new topic. Uh, I guess hacking and whatever surgery... <laughs> Wow, everybody loves surgery game. Surgery simulator. Oh, detective. <gasps> we could do a point and click adventure game. It's off the market. It's uh it's not been worth it. Uh if we go to game history, uh we lost we lost money on that one. Yeah, that was that was not a uh, a good good luck on us. All right, um, we're spreading that in inventory. Working on a new game console. <laughs> Ratio. Okay. It's time. Let's develop a game. Let's get a publishing deal. Aliens. Space strategy. Any topic, it's an action. Nah, 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 nah. We're gonna develop a new game. It's gonna be... Hear me out. A detective game. It's gonna be a mature detective game. We'll make it a, a small... A small detective adventure. A casual adventure game. It's gonna be Nancy Drew. <laughs> this is Nancy Drew. On the shelf? No, that's Bit Trip Runner. Um... Clancy Meal <laughs> Clancy Meal. It's a small detective adventure casual PC game with 3D graphics version 2. Gameplay is going to be very important as well as the story slash quests. A branching story. A tutorial. Character progression. Do we really need character progression? I guess we do. Wait, do we? Yeah, I guess we can. No. We don't. Engine isn't as important. Dialogue. Level design. Artificial intelligence down. 
We don't need AI. Dialogue tree and better dialogue. Yep. Let's market this game. We're gonna mark it for a small campaign. World design. Day night cycle. We don't need that. Sound can go up. Graphics are fine. World design. Make it kind of like that. Okay. We have some hype surrounding our. Surrounding our game. So our Clancy Meal. We'll go ahead and do a small booth. Easter eggs. Alright, here we go. Uninspiring. Not bad, not good. Could have been better. Fun at stages. What, nobody likes Clancy Rue? Or whatever? Whatever. We need money. Yeah, everybody's gonna come up to Clancy Meal. An average financial flop. If you look here, the game is currently not making as much, but you'll see. They'll all see. We can do it. Oh yeah, we did that. Boss, a small number of dedicated fans have asked us to release the source code to one of our older game engines, Genesis. Doing so would surely satisfy these fans, given that the work hard. Also sell the licenses, make some money. Uh, give it away. We're good. Div oh, we're good game game devs. Uh, what do they have to say? Boss are old. From fans overall, gains that and cost us three point. That's fine. We literally just made that money back anyways. Yeah, we we that was a financial flop. Um, let's, uh, let's generate a report on that. Oh my god, okay. That's a big one. I don't think we're dreaming big anymore. I think what the issue is that we're... We need to expand. We need to work with publishers. Detective Adventure Casual is a great combination. Graphics seem to be quite important for this type of game and the j platform genre match is great. It's just because we did a small game, I guess it was just like not worth it. 
any topic strategy for any console. It has to be a safe game size medium. Minimum score four. Well, we seem to be doing that anyways, so. Um, a strategy space game. One sequel sequel. A space strategy PC game. The Genesis 10. We're gonna name this, um... Space Crusaders. Uh, among us. It has multiplayer branching story. Simple cutscenes. Making a game called Among Us. It's a space strategy game. <laughs> Never before seen. Nobody's ever heard of it. Level design is going to be very, very important. Alright, let's have uh, Juan do that. Fighter do that. Uh, Arthur do that. open world and it has a day and night cycle it's a space game <laughs> you can't really have a day and night cycle I don't think have observed a strange trend where players around the world seem to have developed a curious taste for unusual games. As one player puts it, sometimes we just want to play something unique. A game based on uh, an idea that is not the usual military action game or fantasy RPG. Just to name two examples. I really hope companies bring some unique games to the market soon. I would definitely prefer them right now. A new trend promises 
bring interesting challenge for de developers as topic genre combinations which you used to work well suddenly be less favorable while more outlandish ideas might be might flourish okay All right, let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, we get more stuff. First reviews for a newly released game. Um, we did it. Cool. All right. Um, I guess we'll start researching, huh? 3D graphics is going to be very important. Uh, this guy generate thing. Research. Um, AI yeah, cut, uh, companions, research, a Easter eggs, a rich backstory, more, you have more than a hundred thousand fans, which is such a big fan base, you should now be able to self-publish medium games. We've been able to do that before. Search. I can't do advanced cutscenes. Oh no. All right. Um. Contract work. Get at it. Two months to gameling. Okay. I will not take place. No, don't do this now. Come on. There we go. Cool. Among Us has been taken off the market. Alright, um... Gameling is no longer supported. Okay. Rich cutscenes. I need to start training if I can. Do that. Okay. All right. Not too shabby. No, wait, um...
We're gonna develop a sequel to Sequel Fantasy. We're gonna create Sequel Fantasy. Like, five or something. Or four. Custom Engine. V3. No more advanced cutscenes. Our brand, uh, we'll have branching story. Multiplayer. AI companions. Let's do it. It's time. Sequel fantasy is always a success in our company. We have to create sequel fantasy. Alright. It's time to develop a sequel. Se a sequel to sequel fantasy 3. Sequel Fantasy IV on the PlayStation 2 with a game engine number 9. Should we give it a subgenre? Adventure or strategy? RPG strategy. No. Fantasy adventure? We're gonna do fantasy adventure. 3D graphics version 3. Go. Multiplayer, no. Save game. Advanced cutscenes. Branching story. CMM is working on a new game willing to share information, of course. Hype game. Market it. It would cost two million to market it. We'll have to do, um, magazines and demos. AI companions. Wait, dialogue is very important. Hold on. We'll do AI companions. We're gonna do this. Level design is very important. Artificial intelligence is fine. I think a, a, a rich, deep AI. Rich backstory and a day and night cycle. 
Perfect. Almost at a hundred hype. <sighs> All right, it's time. Let's do it. Boss, it seems that quite a few uh, players use illegal copies of Sequel Fantasy 4. I've managed to identify some of uh, them. We could either sue them or defend our copyright or send them warnings and ask them to stop. Warn them. First reviews of the game came in. Come on. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Great. Almost perfect. Wow. We did it. We're back in the green. We're f we fucking did it. Just got word that the sequel... F uh... That the sequ uh, that sequel fantasy four, which was recently released by uh, CMM, has racked up over five hundred thousand in sales. If the game were music record, it would have a gold status. Competitors have been observed muttering jealous remarks. A nine point five. We just got word that Sequel Fantasy 4 was recently released. It's already racked up 1 million in sales. It's ranked number 1 in sales. GMM has recently set warnings. Piracy is an increasingly big problem in the industry. That's a lot of money and effort to fight piracy, while others argue that it's better to take a more relaxed approach and invest better gains instead. We have gained 321 fans. Gamers! Exclusive interview. It's an uber success. And it was received positive reviews. This has had a positive overall reaction. If you are not a fan of CMM, now then chances are you will be after playing the latest hit sequel, Fantasy IV. A true achievement in interactive storytelling. A character's... Um, and captivating scenarios just stick in your mind. Sequel Fantasy 4 really deserves the top s spots in the charts. Thank you. You know, Sequel Fantasy 4, it was an idea I created when I was low on cash. I, um, it was one of our last games we were going to be able to make before we went bankrupt. And we didn't even know if it was going to be a sequel or not. But here we are. I really appreciate everybody that's come here. Um, and I, I just, I really do think that everybody on my team worked really, really hard in helping develop the game. And I, I can only just hope that we just, we just really start getting things done.
Welcome. Um, let's go ahead and... I guess we'll research stuff. Uh, multi-platform... Uh, Easter eggs. Or multi... Video playback or Easter eggs. I guess video playback? I don't know. Large games. Oh my god, of course I get large games after. God damn it. God damn it. <sighs> that is our best selling game so far. We did it. Well, how much will it cost to, uh, 40? Okay, well then we'll just do contract work. Almost. Hmm. I guess this one. There we go. Now we can develop large games. Cool. We're not train. Research large games. Go. It's time to make a sequel to a long-awaited game that has been in dormant for a while. And people love sequels to games. That is, that is a guarantee. Large games. I think it's time. Do we have anything else we can add? Video playback? We don't need that. Actually, we should, we should develop a custom engine and add video playback, uh, level editor. We'll just add everything that we have currently. Just so we can hit the 1 million mark. Call it custom, um, call it game engine 10. <laughs> Just no, no shits given or anything. I'm already out of water, by the way. Sad. Cool. Alright. Research Easter eggs and research a new topic. Superhero. Research a new topic. Mystery. Research a new topic. Romance. Research a new topic. Life. Okay. Sequel fantasy. Easy 10. Let's do Nuclear Winner 3. I think it's time. It's time we de develop Nuclear Winner 3. A RPG. Simulation. Where you can play on PC and on PlayStation 2 and on Xbox. The Inbox. It's a mature rated game. It's a large game. Nuclear Winner 3. 
It's an RPG simulation on the Game Engine 10. This is going to be a big game for us. If Sequel Fantasy is our is our tried and true series, I think um, advanced cutscenes. Linear story, simple cutscenes. We will have advanced cutscenes for our gameplay. Goes up just a little bit. Gameplay is very important. Industry experts predict that we will see the next generation of video game consoles as early as next year. Cool. And we actually have somebody in our team that can actually be a research specialist now, which is good. So we'll have to do that. I think we should hype up the game. A large campaign. We're going to do a small booth. This is our biggest game yet. Dialogue is somewhat important, but I think um, level editor. Artificial intelligence is important. Level design is also incredibly important. Let's do this. Here we go. We almost hit thir um, 300,000. Ah, oh, damn. Hi, Curtain and the Gamers. I got word that CMM is working on a new game. Are you willing to share some information? Of course. Curious about the decisions into making video games and how companies prioritize. Your new game is a post-apocalyptic RNG simulation game. Can you tell us um, whether such a game is received more focus? It's on uh, world design, of course. World design is very important for a game like this. Um, discussed, uh, a different, as a particular importance in the game, it seems that the industry professionals agree with this. Every game development is limited in resources. We want people leaving our game with quality. A rich backstory. Beautiful sound. Like the sound sounds crisp, you know? Graphics can go down just a little bit. Very important to have world design on there. Kind of like that. We're gonna have um, graphics.
Okay. Everyone's working extra hard on the game. Crunch time is crazy. This is the most hype we've had for a game before. I think it'll be worth it. I think everybody's gonna be excited to play Nuclear Winter 3. Dave Johnson here. CEO of Departure, uh, of Departure Science. Some of our test subjects were recently exposed to some of your games. Surprisingly, they didn't go totally insane. Seemed quite to enjoy the experience, in fact. Anyway, I have some products that need advertising. Could you do, um, could do with some product placement? My marketing boys tell me that you're making this offer is a bad idea. Exactly why I want it. I'll pay you 200k to place some of our fine red painted exploding barrels in one of your games. No. That would not fit within the world of Nuclear Winter 3. Iron out some bugs. Please hurry up. we get all right let's do this soundtrack here we go one of the best very good good game We got very close to getting 10s. We got strip teased. Everyone here needs to go on vacation. In a, a solid 8. Next generations of consoles. Here we go. CMM has recently released a sequel to their Nuclear Winter 2, newest game in the series titled Nuclear uh, Winter 3. It was met with great responses. Critics praised Nuclear Winter 3 had a newer engine than the original, really driving technical innovation. Lovely. Nuclear Winter 3 has recently passed. That's good. Um, research to the soundtrack. When she gets back, we're gonna make her into a fantastic sports. We're gonna make Madden. Nico Winner 3 just recently sold 1 million. That's good. Is a good combination. Engine seems to be not very important. Topic audience, it's great. Okay. Punishing large games will be most efficient when we have at least 250k fans. Publishing deals can give us great exposure to help us reach more players. Okay. That's good to know. Clear trend towards, um, okay. I'm going to train them to be... Oh, I need some more. Okay, so I need some more research points. Let's get some uh, some stuff done then.
Yeah, okay, cool. The Xbox. Contact work. Let's see if we can do this. Off uh, the market? Nice. That did pretty good. Uh, it doesn't matter. Come on, guys. Come on. Please. Yes. Whew. Um, let's do this one too. People loved Nuclear Winter 3. I think we need to make Call of Duty. Uh, let's look at research. Oh, yeah, wait, wait, wait. I need you to- I need to train this person to be a design specialist. Go at it. Uh, research. Abstract. Martial arts. Okay. I think I have an idea for a martial artist game. Yep. We did it. Visit the lab to simply click the screen and drag to the left. License game engines and hardware. It's your very own research lab. Uh, okay. So you hire people in R&D to develop. Be careful you don't overspend. Start with smaller projects. No active projects. Researchers will generate research points slowly. To start a project, simply click the screen and bring up the research menu. Okay. Start a project. Hardware. I guess internet opportunities. Practice has now started. And as your researchers work on it. Okay, calm down, Jesus. So the the Wii is coming out soon, okay. That should be fine. Okay. Anyways. Let's develop a new game. We're gonna do a medium game. It's gonna be a... History... Strategy... Game. On the PC. With Game Engine 10. I think I might need to go get another drink, because I'm... I'm out. It's gonna be a, a game for everyone, and it's gonna be called, um... Uh... Who's that guy that everybody likes? Um... He... There's like a... A musical about him. What's his name? 
fuck it. There. Okay. Develop. I only need one specialist to start running a lab. You can train more than one additional specialist. Uh, decrease the overall running cost of your lab. Okay. Well, I don't have the ability to do that. Um, artificial intelligence, that's fine. AI companions, no. Level editor, that's... we don't need that. Dialogue tree, we don't need that. Better dialogues, we don't need those. Dialogue is not important in this game. I guess better dialogue still, but... Dialogue tree. There. Ido doesn't really have anything to do. There. Game sphere is no longer supported. Cool. We made one game for it. So much tutorial? Yeah. I think the idea is that you play the game more. Rich backstory, day and night cycle, sure. I need that though. Open world, sure. World design, graphics. That's fine. I'm an employee of an environmental protection. I have an offer for you. Your company has high electrical footprint. Finboy fights. If you would install solar panels, could decrease your footprint and save money in the long run. Sure. Sounds good to me. I guess. Ow. Alright, really release the game. Oh my god, achievements. Installed solar panels while the video game and software industries. Up a lot of electricity, so installing can really make an impact. Okay. Good game. Love it. We'll make a Wii game. <laughs> Let's make a Wii game. Let me send everybody on vacation real quick.
And I'm gonna generate a report. They're doing stuff. All right, research uh, 3D graphics. That Finboy fight says just recently, okay. Gets no vacation. <laughs> nah, 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 yo, give a cake, dang. doing their thing. All right. Let's create a new engine. Easter eggs. Soundtrack. Go. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get a drink. What? Platform news, the PlayStation 3 came out, okay. As a Blu-ray player, okay. Nice. What was this? Cool. I don't even name the game engines anymore. There we go. This is what's the achievement I was trying to get. Okay. Let's. develop a new game, I guess? Oh wait, hold on. Achievements. I didn't realize that that wasn't... Whatever. School? That doesn't seem like a fun pirate. Okay, that sounds pretty fun. Vocabulary. Are we making baby games? Evolution. 
Well, now our engine doesn't even have achievements. I'd have to develop more into 2D games for me to be able to do something with that. Yeah, achievements aren't even added. Okay. Those are all fine except for these. Uh, stereo's fine. Okay. And we'll actually name this. Um... There you go. Develop. We're already making a new game engine. <laughs> Forget about the old one. This is the new one. Game engine dulse, perhaps. Usually high price. People will work more hours to buy one. We want people to feel that they want more than anything else. We're gonna make Skyrim. We're gonna make, uh, okay. Make, uh, I would like to make a large game since we almost do we have a full team I'm pretty sure we do right no we don't okay hold on let's get a let's get a new person in here before we develop a big boy game Roberto, you'll be fine. We did it. Welcome them. Okay. Cool. Um, okay. Let's develop. Let's do contract work. Okay. MMO? Oh, fuck. MMO? MMO. Wow, okay. Get the working. For examination, we have come to the conclusion that the internet is a huge opportunity in gaming industry. We could make an MMO. We could develop technologies and create online games. Short MMO, a game with tens of thousands. Okay. Yes. We will do this. Okay. Um, find contract work. Yeah, do it.
Oh no, the play system too. Okay. Let me send these people on vacation. Research a new topic. Werewolf. Research a new topic. Military. There we go. We can finally make a military game. time we're gonna create a large military action game it's gonna be an action simulation on the PlayStation the Xbox and of course PC it's gonna be the Genesis 13 it's gonna be for mature audiences we're gonna name it Battle Duty. Call to Arms. It's perfect. 3D graphics version 4. Get the work, baby. It's gonna be advanced cutscenes. There's gonna be multiplayer. Achievements, character progression. I don't think we need character progression. I get, yeah, yeah, character progression. Better user experience, game tutorial. Gameplay is all, it's all about gameplay. The engine is very important too. Actually, it's a multiplayer. It's a multiplayer game, so that doesn't matter. Limited. I'm writing to let you know a high repute authorized me to invest We have deposited the amount in your safe bank and will transfer this money to you Confirmation from you if you wish to receive funds you must transfer a one-time uh, No <laughs> No You can't scam me. Got word that CMM is working on a new game. Hype this game. Hype it. This is gonna be our largest game yet. It appears that recently a few companies have fallen victim to Nigerian scammers. These scammers often claim large sums of money into companies but require a sizable upfront payment to make the deal. Those who are unwise enough to pay not see their money again. Police are investigating but seem helpless to stop these international scammers. There's gonna be... Easter eggs, AI companions, better AI. Not enough uh, dialogue. There's not going to be a huge amount of dialogue. Lunitas hasn't had much to do. 
This is kind of here. There. <clears throat> Map design is very important for our game. Soundtrack is going to be important. There will be a rich backstory. Perfect. I think our game is gonna be amazing. <coughs> there doesn't seem to be a lot of hype though for our game. Which just is preposterous to me. It's in the red. But thankfully your bank is enabled. Oh shit, okay. That's not good. Hurry up and finish the bugs, hurry. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Uh, this game has to be a success. <laughs> this game has to be a success. Uh, this game has to be a success. No. Please. Please. Give me a 10. Give me a 10. Give me a 10. Okay, 8. That's fine. An exclusive interview a while ago. See very positive reviews, so we're good. More people will buy this game because it's a cool game. Recently sold one million. Nice. Oh my god. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Um. Yeah, yeah. Do that. Uh. I need to train people. No, 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 no. Don't fire them. Train.
Let's do it. Yes. We did it. Wait, why is it showing Finboy fights? Oh, it's showing both of them. Okay. Okay, cool. Great combination, PC action, that's good. New to the team, yeah. Uh, train. Oh my god, just do fucking design so you're not dog shit anymore. Okay. This team. Two hundred and ten. Okay, they need a higher budget. There you go. Came off the market. It sold one million, almost two million copies, and almost made three thirty million. That's really good. Okay, so what do we have? We have a new thing to research. Multi uh, platform optimized. All right, I think we should develop a sequel. I think it's finally time to make a sequel to Sequel Fantasy RPG on PlayStation. This is going to be our largest game yet. For sequel fantasy. Sequel Fantasy 5. For the Play System 3. Wait, hold on. Wait a second. Custom engine. Is there anything new? Mini games? Oh yeah, mini games. <laughs> what is this? You can access some critical systems of your competitors. good I don't need to do that right now I'm very successful sequel fantasy is our prime like game series Sequel Fantasy is is our prime fucking series. It's an RPG adventure. Genesis 13 2. Branching story, advanced video playback, achievements, character progression, 
character tutorials, stories is very important. Almost as much as the engine. I think it's time. I think it's time to mark it. Hydrate? I, I got a brain out of... Ran out of water. <laughs> I have to go and get more. I've been like drinking. Hi. Hi. Dialogue is very important. Let's have Fido do that. Yeah, I, I need to get... <sighs> I should probably just go grab a drink. I should cut back on budgets for now. What are we working on? A f sequel Fantasy V. In the legendary open world RPG adventure series. World needs to be lush. I think can work on that. Frodo can work on that. Or, okay. Arthur B. No, no, no. Have Fido do that. Okay. There we go. Alright. This should be good. Okay. Amount has been deducted for my thing. That's fine. I think we're at the end here. I think our game is, is ready. We didn't get as much hype though. Which is a little concerning. some water in a second or something like that virtual economy all right let's see sequel fantasy 5 is it better than the last very enjoyable you know what Final Fantasy had some stinkers, I, I assume. I've never played them. So, even an 8 is, is still really amazing. Considering the following. It's sequel fantasy. <laughs> CMM has recently made a sequel of their game Sequel Fantasy 4, the newest game in the t series. Titled Sequel Fantasy V was met with great responses. Critics praised the Sequel Fantasy V had a newer engine than the original, really driving technical innovation. There it is. Already received 500,000. Very nice. Uh, go back to this. Yay.
almost 500,000. Almost. Um. Nice. Generate a report. We've made a profit so far, which is good. Uh, do we have anything to research? We do. Virtual economy. And multi-platform, which I, I need to get points for. Market uh, analysis. It seems that the market has normalized again with no particular strong... Okay. Our post-release analysis. Uh, level design is important and it's good. She's still new to the team. Okay. I don't know what to tell you. Spawn number of dedicated fans. I've asked, uh, yeah, take it. That's fine. Game engine number nine. <laughs> okay. Cool. Oh, man. I've been streaming for, like, almost five hours. I should probably maybe end it here. Um, what is that? A tablet? Okay, then. Okay. I think we'll end it here. Um. Okay. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, this was interesting for you guys. Uh cost that much and we made profit we made a 15 million dollar profit for the sequel fantasy series all i don't know my throat my throat's killing me uh i'm uh yeah my throat's just killing me i've been talking talking all day yeah sequel fantasy which Let's see if we can find sequel fantasy in our lineup of games. Oh, we need to do Tax Tycoon um, uh, 3. 9.75 on the PlayStation. Yeah. We made a huge profit on that. Um, You know what? We'll do one more game. Before I, I end the stream. Because my throat is just fucked. I've <laughs> been talking for so long. Um, okay. I'm probably... Okay, sorry. My brain's like fried, I think. Okay. Uh, Multi-platform optimize. That's two million? Just for that? Virtual economy. We have to have a virtual economy for our game yep okay we're doing it taxed engine oh almost 666 all right R&D you can stop for now All right, let's make a sequel. We're gonna add Easter eggs. We're gonna add, um, we're gonna add funny content. It's gonna be a comedy. It's gonna be a business. We're gonna add, add, it's gonna go to new heights. Our large game. 
Here we go. Develop a sequel. To the classic. Tax Tycoon. It's a simulation. Game. Business. It's a medium sized game. On the PC. And. The Wii. <laughs> In the f uh, the the phone, we'll, we'll do we'll, we'll we'll hop onto the 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 uh, the the whatever you call it market. Should I make it a simulation strategy game? <laughs> a simulation strategy game. <laughs> it's gonna be, uh... It's gonna be on 3D graphics. V4 or 2D graphics? What would be better, 2D graphics? Let's just do 2D graphics. own convention. We can have our own convention. <laughs> A branching story. We don't need that. Advanced cutscenes, multiplayer, video playback, game tutorials, achievements, character progression. This game is hype. Okay, we don't need video playback. We can take that off. Tax Tycoon 3. Taxes never changes. Yes, of course. Expecting an, the success. I accidentally hyped the game. I accidentally hyped this medium-sized game. Uh, Easter eggs. A level editor. Better AI. We don't need that. AI companions, we don't need that. Better dialogue and dialogue tree, we don't need that. Better dialogues, though, is good. This is good. Dialogue can go down, level design can stay up. AI can go up, of course. We definitely need better AI. So you can fight against AI. Dialogue isn't as important. Okay. A virtual economy. Open world day night cycle. Rich backstory is not needed. And we need to up world design. So we have to lower. Graphics aren't as important apparently. Oh, graphics are important. Okay, hold on. Let's think about this. We'll do basic sounds. Okay. 
Sometimes you have to make compromises. This is a hyped game. A business simulation strategy game. People are gonna be so excited. I can already see the crowd go crazy. Let's go. Oh my god. Yeah, 2D graphics v4. Awesome. Played it for days. Why wouldn't you ever not play this business simulation strategy game? Easy. We only make bangers here at, uh, CMM. Clown Makeup uh, Media. Nice. Did we make the uh, top 100? No. We didn't. A shame. Yay, I can self-publish large games. Doesn't match the hyped expectations? What do you mean? It still got it still has raving reviews. Yeah, th this she needs like huge like buff in, in her design. Like she's so fucked right now. How much is Arthur B? Also low. Okay. We're trying to capitalize on the mobile market. Even train my character. New will be taken off the market. Yeah, you can play my game on on the new. It was already taken off. Ten million in sales. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's stop here. I know this was fun. I hope you had fun. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm tired, okay? I hope you understand. Uh, yeah. But, um, uh, where's my music? Here we go. Okay. We'll be back on uh, Wednesday. We're going to be playing a game called Hatred. <laughs> if you know about that game, it's, uh, it's a game about a guy who has had enough with society. And he goes on a fucking rampage. He was on a crazy rampage, uh, ready to murder, and that's pretty much the game. I don't, 
I don't know how else to uh, advertise it. So, yeah. Um, hold on. Music. Oh, there we go. So yeah, I'll see you on Wednesday. Same time that I started today's stream, 7 p.m. Uh, check the Discord for your time on like when it'll be available, like live or whatever, you know. Uh, so I have it all set up so it, it mentions it so at 7 p.m. in three days and the surprise game that we did was five hours ago so okay uh have a good morning good day good afternoon and a good night I will see you in the next one. Maybe we'll come back to this game uh, at some point. I might start doing three streams a week um, after testing it a little bit. So we might do one on hmm I feel like I need to do this in a very specific way because yeah I, I could probably do it on Thursdays so we might do Wednesday Wednesday Thursday and Sunday good morning <laughs> it's not even morning yet it's all, well okay it's almost morning but yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go uh, relax. And watch. Uh, probably watch some YouTube or something. Apparently a new trailer for the System Shock remake. Came out. But yeah. Hatred I think is the game we're gonna play. If I don't end up doing that. We'll be doing something else. Probably. Maybe Morrowind. Maybe Elder Scrolls Morrowind. Um. 5 a.m. here. Oh, rip. <laughs> rip. Uh, okay. I I had to wake up at 5 a.m. when I was watching my sister's dog. I was about the exact time I looked at my clock. I think that was the exact time I looked at my clock when I was like. Yeah, like I guess he was howling. He had like a bad dream or something. And he was howling, and it woke me up. And I, I went to go check on him to see if he's okay. He's fine. So, okay, yeah. Have a good morning, good day, good afternoon, good night. I'll see you on Wednesday. Um, and we'll do a game. I put it on hatred, but we'll see what we do. I might change it. Might not. Because it's a weird game, kind of. I don't know. I've actually never played it. I've only seen like a tiny bit of it from when it came out. That's about it. Okay. <laughs>